Well, this morning, a newborn baby is alive thanks to a special invention actually pioneered here in Indiana. It's called a safe haven baby box. It's meant to save babies that might otherwise be abandoned. That's right. Our Carlos Diaz joins us here in the studio this morning to tell us how Indiana actually came to lead the way on this technology because there's not many really even in this country. That's Carlos. a great point. And this is the second baby that has been saved by one of these boxes, Ben and Julia. They kind of look like oversized mailboxes, but you're supposed to put a baby inside instead of mail. You can see it right there. When you do, an alarm goes off to alert emergency workers, letting them know the infant needs to be picked up. Indiana actually has a special safe haven law to make this legal. Now, if you drop off a baby that's less than 30 days old at an ER, fire station, or police station, you will not face any charges. This year, that was expanded to fire stations who use these baby boxes, but they need to be staffed 24 hours a day to make sure they, the babies are safe. This wasn't always the way. In 2014, a baby girl was found dead wrapped in a blanket in Eagle Creek Park. Linda Zinako is an activist for abandoned children. She named the baby Amelia Hope and paid for her funeral. Now baby Amelia's footprint is in the logo for the Safe Haven Baby Boxes. And to think that the legacy on her life is life, life saved. And I knew that when she was found, and I named her Amelia, that the legacy on her life would be to enhance the Safe Haven Law. Now right now there are two baby boxes in the entire state. This one and the other one is found in a town of Woodburn near Fort Wayne. It's so hard to believe there aren't more of those uh, already. Right, yeah. It's been so long. Are there plans to get them here in central Indiana? Yeah, there, there are plans. In fact, uh, she says there's a ministry that's going on to donate one to a fire station here in Marion County. Right now, she can't tell us which one, but she says she hopes to get it installed in the next six months. And she says it'll be dedicated in baby Amelia's name. Boy, it can be life-saving, though, for sure. Fascinating stuff. Carlos, thank you very much. Mm -hmm. We appreciate it. We'll check back.